The transtheoretical model, sometimes referred to as the stages of change, is a model created to understand and motivate individuals to change addictive behaviors. It consists of four key constructs, stages of change, processes of change, decisional balance, and self-efficacy. The stages of change are pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. The processes of change are 10 techniques that are used to help individuals process through the stages. Decisional balance is the weighing of pros and cons in the trans-theoretical model, and self-efficacy is the individual's belief that they can change their behavior. One of the best ways to understand the model is to apply it to an example of an individual progressing through the stages. This is Billy. He often eats fast food to save time in his busy schedule. He is in the stage of pre-contemplation, meaning he has not thought about the effects of eating fast food for many of his meals. To progress to the next stage, the first process of change, conscious raising, is applied. He may have heard about the movie Super Size Me and found out that fast food diet is very unhealthy. Now that he has some small amount of awareness, he has progressed to this contemplation stage, where he begins to look more closely at his behavior. He notices that some of his clothes are not fitting like they used to. The process of change that might affect him now is dramatic relief, where he begins to have anxiety due to his unhealthy behavior. He may also see others who have lost a lot of weight and be encouraged to do the same. But at this point he sees the pros and cons as about equal and is not really ready to change his behavior until he goes through another process known as self-evaluation, where he realizes that being healthy is something he really wants and the decisional balance begins to shift towards the pros of losing weight outweighing the cons of it being difficult. Environment reevaluation is when the individual realizes how their unhealthy behavior affects others. Billy realized that he wasn't able to keep up with his coworkers anymore when they would go play basketball. This leads him into preparation stages of change, processes of change, decisional balance, and self-efficacy. On stage, where he begins to think about how he could lose the weight. His self-efficacy begins to increase as he goes through the next processes of change, social and self-liberation. He discusses his future goals of losing weight to his wife and co-workers and realizes that the people around him would support this change and then begins to believe in himself. At this point, he makes a plan to cut out his junk food and start eating healthy meals. Helping relationships are another process that affects him when his wife offers to start packing his lunches for him. Once he begins eating his packed lunches and a healthier breakfast, he is in the action stage. This is where the behavior is changed but it takes a lot of effort to make the new behavior stick. Some of the processes or strategies used at this stage can be counter conditioning and reinforcement management. Counter conditioning refers to substituting healthy alternatives to unhealthy behaviors. Instead of having a milkshake like Billy used to do often, he has begun having a smoothie made with fresh fruits. Reinforcement management is increasing the rewards for the positive behavior and decreasing the rewards for the negative behavior. Billy has been noticing his old clothes are fitting better again and no longer sees the need for fast food. Finally, Billy transitions into the maintenance stage, where he must continue to use reinforcement management and stimulus control to make the new behavior a lasting change. Stimulus control is using reminders to encourage the healthy behavior. Billy may begin weighing himself every morning to continue to keep in his mind that he is happy with his behavior change and does not want to slip back into his unhealthy habits.